Hi there, this is Jason Cadillac. I'm the creator of Active Woo, and I have a very exciting release just in time for the holidays and hopefully Cyber Monday if you are promoting that. And that is expiring coupons for both abandoned cart and also for a post sale uh, follow up. And the way that it works is it hooks into WooCommerce existing coupons. So the first thing that you'll do is go to WooCommerce coupons and create an, a coupon. So you can name it whatever you want and then set up uh, if you want to do stuff. So like you could do free shipping if you order within the next three days the second product, right? So you would check free shipping in order to do that kind of discount. So all of the, the coupon, what it grants the person, that's all set up in the coupon area that you're already familiar with. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to uh, worry about usage restriction or usage limits. The expiration and the limitation will be handled in the Active Woo, uh, Active Woo settings. So you just go ahead and hit update there and save that. Then you will head over to the WooCommerce settings and you'll find if you update to WooCommerce version 1.3 uh, in the WooCommerce settings in the integration tab you will now see advanced coupons. So what you want to do is tick this box to enable this and then you're going to have a drop down here of your existing coupons. So if you've uh, created this and updated it and then you navigate over, you should then be able to select the coupon you've just created here. And then you select how uh, long until the coupon expires. And that's from the point which it was created. So you might not want to do necessarily like one day. You might want to do maybe two days or a day and a half because you know that it might take a little bit of time for somebody to open that email. So I would recommend maybe you think about doing something like two or three days uh, because it's going to fire from the moment that we um, logged the event. So in this case, one coupon is logged for when people abandon cart. And that's uh, so that when you send the abandoned cart email, you can put in, if you want, an expiring coupon to encourage them to come back and finish that purchase within the next four days. Um, let's say then you can have them come back. And what I would do is if I made an email that said you have to, you have to take action within the next four days, I would set this to maybe uh, five days or four days and 12 hours or something like that. Just because again, people might not necessarily uh, um, get the, uh, the email right away. Next up, we have uh, the coupon that you can enable for the after purchase. And that's uh, enabled with a tick box there. So when you're done, uh, you hit save changes. And what's going to happen is ActiveWoo just created some new custom fields inside Active Campaign. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so inside of Active Campaign, we've got this Lists tab, and that's where we will find our Manage Fields. So we'll click on Manage Fields, and we can see that we've got a bunch of, and I've got a ton because I've been doing some testing, but uh, we have some new custom fields here. And you can look for Abandoned Card Coupon and After Purchase Coupon. And they are abbreviated, or these will be the merge fields that you'll use when you want to include these coupons in an email that you're going to send to folks. So let's take a look at how we would do the abandoned cart coupon. So I would copy this and actually have an abandoned cart automation set up. So I'll go into this existing automation. And we send this email right here, so I'll go ahead and edit that email. And then it would say something like this. Um, and then I might do something like, um, well, maybe I'll put it up here. And we would say, to help you finish your purchase, uh, please use this coupon code for 10% off. And then we just, put in what's called the merge field. What will happen is this will automatically be replaced with the unique coupon code that will be set with each person. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks. So right now I'll click save and exit and I'm going to execute a abandoned cart and then we'll get that email sent out. Now, if you're not sure what abandoned cart is, it's this. So when you go to the checkout, you'll be asked to put in if you've enabled um, abandoned cart, then you would put in your 
name and email address, and then you click next. And what's happening here is a sync is happening with Active Campaign, and the name and email address, and now a unique coupon has just been synced to this person's contact record. And the automation to send that uh, coupon is now on a countdown. Let's take a look. Okay, and then you'll see we have uh, an abandoned cart coupon. Now, for a number of reasons, it's very important that when you create an abandoned cart coupon and you create an abandoned cart campaign, that you don't try to send the abandoned cart email out immediately. For example, my site waits one hour. And that's very important because this coupon will not set immediately uh, as soon as this was, um, as soon as the abandoned cart is. The, the sync all happens um, in the background so that the checkout flow is not slowed down. If the API calls are being slow or if the server are, is being slow, we don't want to slow down the checkout process. So the, the creation of the coupon code and then setting that custom field runs in the background of your site. And it may take 20 or 30 uh, seconds, even up to a minute for this um, coupon to set so again, make sure that you're not sending this email immediately after it happens. And same with the after purchase coupon. If you, if you try to set, uh, send this the instant the, the uh, sync happens, you might miss having this set. So please be sure to delay any email using these abandoned cards. Make sure that those are delayed by, let's say, at least 10 minutes to make sure that these are set. All right, so now that we have this coupon, let's check it out. We don't need to wait for the email to get sent to me. We can now use this email immediately. Uh, the other thing that we can use is this URL. So for those of you who are not yet familiar with the Recover Cart, what, what it does is it creates this special URL. And what will happen is, let's say that we, um, we abandon the cart here and we'll clear our cookies and cash or we'll just jump to a new browser. How about that? Okay, so you can see here the cart's empty. This is a new browser. So when I paste that whole URL in, what happens is it creates the cart for me automatically and it takes me right to the cart page where I can apply my coupon code. So someone could easily just jump to their email and apply that code. So let's do that now. And then you'll see that the coupon has been added and now we can proceed to checkout. And then you do go through the abandoned checkout each time, unless you're logged in. If you're logged in, then it will pre-fill these things for you and so you can go through. And so what will happen is if I complete that purchase, anybody else who tries to use that same coupon will not be allowed to do so. It will, uh, it will tell you that the coupon is expired. So that is how we create expiring coupons now in ActiveWoo. And you can create one that will be sent specifically for abandoned cart purchases. And then you can have an entirely different coupon used to send to folks after they complete a purchase. So that is um, simple effective expiring unique coupons to each individual user. So again, they're the coupons that expire uh, for each person for that set amount of time. So that coupon is good for that email address, the Jason at crazyeffective.com email address. And it would be good for that, uh, that amount of time that I had set. And again, if I use the coupon within that amount of time, then the coupon will be expired. I cannot reuse the coupon in the same amount of time. Uh, if I don't use the coupon and I don't um, use it within the right amount of time, I can't use it. Nobody else can use it. And once I've used it, nobody else can use it. So once again, simple, uh, easy to set up, uses uh, the coupons that you might already have in play. And now you can just simply repurpose some of those or easily create some new ones, do all the things that you could do with WooCommerce coupons, free shipping, uh, single discount, discount on a particular product category, all the flexibility that you normally have with, uh, with the coupons inside of WooCommerce. Now you can add them into your emails and active campaign so that they're unique and that they ex expire to create some urgency and to drive some action back into your cart. I hope it's real successful for you this holiday season and into the future.